Hello Internet! Welcome to The Collective Arcana, a channel all about tabletop gaming. So we're back to the Vox Machina minis. Um, I know we took a little break there for a minute. There's just been so many videos to do in so little time. Um, but aside from Pike here, we just have Grog and that will finish the set uh, for Vox Machina. Not including Terry and Dodie, but I'm saving those because we are actually going to the live show. So I thought it would be fun to kind of work on those um, before we go to the show. So I didn't film myself painting Pikey here because she's just so small that I tried that with Scanlan and the camera just can't keep up and every time I move her um, with the paintbrush and stuff the focus was just everywhere and I didn't want to make y'all <laughs> seasick. So um, I just wanted to walk you through a couple of my uh, color choice thoughts uh, and otherwise she's pretty straightforward. She doesn't She's not so complicated. Um, I know she looks like she's got, got a lot going on, but she's actually one of the easier ones. So I noticed that Steamforged put out a official tutorial for her and they chose to paint her armor white. Um, and if you look through the comments, I think most of us kind of agree like maybe that wasn't the best choice. <laughs> um, I certainly never imagined her with white armor. So I went ahead and just did a combination of silvers, bronze, golds, and just try to make it like elaborate kind of fancy metals. And you could do this all silver or you could do it all different golds and bronzes. Um, you really can't go wrong. Uh, you could do the white if you like that. I believe that the reason they did the white, it's my theory is that it was just for contrast sake. She's got a lot going on and it can be hard to break up all that with such a tiny mini, which is why I did gold and silver. So that said, I still had the problem of her Saren Ray symbol in her hand. Um, and what I did with that was I just used a completely different kind of gold. I had this uh, very yellowy gold uh, by Reaper. I don't love this color gold for armor. But for this it was perfect because it made it stand out against these like bronzer colors. So I think it worked out for this specifically. And then for her, uh, her weapon, I, I still broke that up. I didn't want it to be just one color because I thought that might be a little boring. Um, so I put some darker bronze in that. But for the, the trim part on her armor, I did the bronze but then I highlighted it with the gold and I really like doing that combination. I think it gives it a lot of uh, depth and it makes it look really interesting and I like how it looks compared to this just like super yellow gold that a lot of people use. Um, let's see what else. Oh and for her hair I started her blonde as if I was painting her with blonde hair and I just built up uh, until I had a white highlight on top so that it's more white um, since she does have white hair. I don't want to just paint it white though because then it might look uh, like chalky. White paint often looks chalky. Uh, in this way we can get some of those shades in there and contrast so it has more detail. And the last thing I want to say about her uh, is with the face, I've learned with these tinier minis that just because you can paint the eyes in detail doesn't mean you should. <laughs> They often look a little creepy when you do that. <laughs> so all I did was um, just a wash and let the sculpt do the work with the face. And I think the subtle uh, details with the wash looks a little more natural than going in there and trying to paint eyeballs and stuff like that. Some people can do it and, and it looks really great, but uh, a lot of times it just looks creepy. <laughs> so I just avoid that. Uh, it's I don't always paint the eyes. I do it hit or miss. It just depends on the mini. Um, I didn't have a ton to say about her besides that, so I just wanted to keep this video kind of short. Uh, I'm going to make a video for all of them. Some will be short, some will be longer. So, like I said, we have Grog next, and I've seen so many people do such a great job on this Grog mini. I'm really excited. I kind of saved him as a treat for myself because uh, the bigger minis are just so much uh, easier because you have so much room to work with that I thought it would be a nice treat as the the last Vox Machina mini. Um, so I'm really looking forward to working on him. 
Also, in case you didn't know, I'm also making blog posts uh, for all these minis. If you just want to look at the pictures for reference, um, I have them all posted uh, individually and a gallery. Just so, because that's what I do. I usually, uh, when I'm painting a mini to match something or just want to reference, I'll, I'll, I'll look up pictures and see what I can find. And I've seen a lot of people asking for help with colors. So um, I'll put the link to those the blog and the gallery in the description and then maybe you can just even if it's just to help you figure out uh like i know some of the sculpts are a little confusing because they're they're kind of unclear and the molds aren't great um so just feel free to take a look over there so i'll be saving terry and dody for november um and also keep an eye out for our video on that i think i'm going to try to do maybe go to see if i can find some critters to to get on the channel um, and I'll, I'll release those videos around the same time just for celebration sake. It'll be our first live show. We're really excited. So aside from saving those guys, um, Fox Machina is done and I'll be moving on to the Mighty Nine. I've already done Jester. Wanted to get her out of the way <laughs> so I didn't have to dread her. Um, so I'll be kicking that off next. So hope this video helped you a little bit and maybe the gallery and hopefully you'll hit subscribe. Uh, give us a like and uh, I can help you with the next mini. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Welcome to the collective.